What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. And as you can see, I have a ton of products behind me. Um, basically, I am introducing you to my newest project and a new series of videos. This is going to be a whole playlist. Welcome to my Hackintosh build 2012. So I'm going to be running you through exactly how I'm building my Hackintosh, problems I run into, everything that goes with Hackintosh, how to install the operating system, build the computer from scratch. And basically I'm doing this is because this is my first time doing it, so um, if I run into any problems, I'm going to be asking you guys, and if you want to join the ride, you can ask me. And also use the comments as a discussion forum, whether you're looking to buy one, just kind of interested in it, want to know what parts to get, or currently trying to build one. So um, we're going to use this as kind of just to help each other out. It's going to be really great, and I'm doing it because I want to get the experience of building my own computer. Um, it looks pretty easy from, you know, videos I've watched, and although this might seem overwhelming, it actually doesn't look that difficult. So, uh, first I want to just start out by showing you kind of what I got here, what's going on. I'm not going to run through every part in detail because I'm going to have many more unboxing videos and then installation videos. But uh, first off, let me just say, um, before I go into any of this, is that some things are not compatible with a Hackintosh, and some of the parts I got are not considered compatible, but I'm going to make them work, and I'll explain to you. Um, first thing, let me just go over the simple specs. I have a Core i5, um, 3570K, Intel i5, again, um, and that is, I think, 3.4 gigahertz. And, um, I'm running a 2.5 inch, uh, solid state drive. This is the Vertex 4, 128 gig, that I'm going to install the operating system onto. This is fully compatible, um, with Mac OS X, and this is going to be speedy. I'm also getting a 500 gig drive, which hasn't come in yet, uh, standard hard disk drive to store files on for uh, mass media storage. Uh, I have a 24 inch monitor back there, um, but let's get in four gigs of RAM right here, G skill. But first, here's my motherboard. It's the Gigabit 7 Z77X D3H. And this is not fully compatible with the Hackintosh. And I'll put an article down below to all the recommended parts. Uh, basically, I bought this. Um, it's not fully compatible. The only thing that doesn't work with it is the audio, uh, the audio outputs. And I'm either going to be getting a sound card in the a sound card in the in the near future, which I'll get one that's Mac compatible, and I won't even need to worry about this. But also, I'm using a USB audio interface and not the audio built into this, so that doesn't really matter. And then, so that's on purpose. And then I actually got this kind of on accident. Uh, this is the uh, GeForce GTX 550 Ti graphics card. Um, it's a gaming graphics card. And the reason I got this one is because I'm also going to be partitioning the 500 gig hard disk drive to run Windows 7 on it. So I want to have a good graphics card. Um, but I also realized that the GTX 560 Ti is the one I meant to get because that's compatible with Mac. This sometimes has some issues when uh, using Mountain Lion, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll end up returning it and exchanging it for the next model, which is the 560 Ti. And uh, one thing I do want to say is that the um, CPU I'm using, which is the uh, Ivy Bridge processor, does not work with older versions of Mac. You can only use Ivy Bridge processors with Lion. They just added support for that, so that's going to be great. I'm able to take advantage of this, but if you're not going to be running Mountain Lion, um, you're not going to be able to use Ivy Bridge. Sorry about that. Um, I have a Corsair. I'm not going to go into this course like too too much more, but Corsair TX750 power supply, Cooler Master case. Um, it's not the most expensive case, and it's really you know it's really affordable. I think it was like fifty dollars, which is pretty cheap for a case compared to some of the other higher end ones. But it looks pretty nice. It looks beast in my opinion, and um, this is what I'm going to be using to install everything into. I don't know the model name of that, but I'll have more videos that go in depth with everything. This is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you what my newest project is, building a Hackintosh and also installing Windows onto it. Um, if you want to join the ride, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on anything. Check back to this playlist all the time because there's going to be a ton of videos coming. I will try to get the content out to you as soon as possible. Also, um, you guys were complaining yesterday in my video about the lighting, uh, the iPhone 5 video that it looked a little bit too dim. I had two diffusers on each of the soft boxes. I took one out, so now each soft box has one diffuser on it. And I also moved them a little bit closer. So let me know if it made a difference, if I need to make it brighter, do color correction in post-production, or whatever it needs to be. Oh, and what I'm using this computer for. No, I do not do too much computer gaming. I'm a console guy, I like Xbox. 
Um, mainly I want to run Windows because I don't have a Windows computer. I would like to know how to use it. We're now using Windows computers in school. They switched from Mac. I'm not, I used to use PC, but I'm not really that familiar anymore. I'd like to get back into it because it helped me, it would help me with my videos. I can make Windows based videos for you guys. And also I wanted a machine for down here in my basement in my studio to edit so I don't have to run my camera up back and down. Um, so this is always something, you know, I'm kind of looking into, and, um, there's a few people that have inspired me to do it. One would be Unbox Therapy, um, he's building the ultimate gaming PC. I'm not building a real gaming PC, but, um, you know, it's going to be able to run basic things like Minecraft, but, uh, he kind of inspired me. Another person is iAppleTech iPro. I think that's his username. I stumbled upon him like a week ago or something. He built his he built his own PC and uh, kind of wanted me to do it. And then my friend Jake Jake VFX Edits is also building a computer. So um, I'll link his channel down in the description. Go check him out. He does some cool videos with Photoshop. Um, graphics graphic design edits for gameplay and stuff like that. So. Here it is. Here's everything I ordered. Oh, and also I'm putting a DVD drive. Like, that was like a really cheap one, not Blu-ray. It was like $16 or something. Um, so there's a link again in the description to see recommended parts for a Hackintosh if you want to join me. Um, they have a budget build, a pro build, you know, so all different prices so you can choose, like, how much you want to spend. This whole setup here, um, including what hasn't come in yet, which is my network card uh, for Wi-Fi, as well as a 500 gig hard drive. Um, those are coming in in a few days, but all of that together plus all of this cost me $930. So for the specs of this machine, I would say it's a pretty good deal. Dual hard drive. I'm not doing a RAID because I only have one solid state and one traditional hard drive. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And I will catch you in my next video. See ya.